Hey everyone, Zane here and today I'm going to show you how to use Speechify. Now first thing you should do is to simply open your Speechify on your phone and after that you will get here this page. When you go to add on the bottom left side you will find here this page. You can simply see here on the top some advertisements and now you can actually convert the text into voice through using this application. So now here as you can see you have many options to do so. You can simply scan some pages if you want but you need to create an account. You can scan this page either as on your computer or either you have it in a physical book and you want just to use your camera and try to take a picture of the phone and be aware that you should subscribe to the application in order to get all the features you can also click on paste and try text and by this way anything that you paste right here you will get it on your phone now now click on this page now here as you can see we have two options you can simply choose book in order to take a picture of two pages of the book at the same time you can simply take a picture of them at the same time and after that you can simply click on next and click on save and listen and after that will be saved on the application it will be in a category called my files and after that as you can see you will be able to listen to the text and actually it is very good application and you can also change the voice by clicking on this button on the bottom left corner you can simply click on it and choose any voiceover that you want but be careful that some voiceovers are for the premium plan you can also click on on this arrow right here in order to change to another sentence and you can change the speed by clicking on this button on the lower right corner just click on it and increase it or decrease it as you need I'm gonna make it one for example then click on done then click on play again but keep in mind that this is only for the English text you can also click on this button up right here then choose any appearance that you need here you have the dark mode and the light mode or you can simply click on device and it will change the appearance automatically according to your device you can also change the font if you need you can use any font like this one right here or this one you can change also the size of the font but let me just skip this for now and you can also click on this ai and use speechify ai in order to summarize what is in this page exactly but this is also a paid feature and here when you go to the middle right here and click on my files here you will find all the files that you have recently added and used in the application now when you click on this icon on the top right right here it will show you the text in the book and you can also copy the text if you want when you click on these three horizontal dots on the top right corner it will show you more options you can download the audio to your phone you can adjust the document you can crop or edit some columns you can auto skip some content you can auto skip the headers the footers the the citations and so on now when you go back and click on this arrow right here on the top left corner you can also see more options right here when you click on add here you have as we mentioned scan pages you can also paste some written text here you can copy it from a website for example then click on save and listen it will do the same work and you can also paste a web link so let's say that i'm gonna enter a website about lloyd's bank for example so i'm gonna copy the url right here i'm gonna copy it then i'm gonna paste it just in order to check the application as you can see now we have it i'm gonna click on save and listen and as you can see we have added the text of the website so i can now listen to it at this Yes. Bank. Actually, it's working. Now, let's go back again and show you the other features. You can import something from your phone in order to read it and listen to it in a voice. You can also import something from your Google Drive, Gmail, and the library. Or you can import something from your computer. But this will need another step of pairing your devices. So you have to pair your devices before you can actually get something from your computer on your mobile, then use the application with it. You can also check something from Canvas, Dropbox, Microsoft OneDrive, and you can also upload a photo from your gallery that has text on it, and the application will also convert this text to voice. You can also click on my files in order to see my files as we mentioned before, and when you click on search library, you can search for any text or anything that you have used in order to convert it from text to voice. And now when you go back and click on for you right here on the bottom right corner, you can also see here your email on the top, you can click on the settings, here you will see some options like referral and rewards you can also learn from some tutorials that they will provide you on the application so you can simply click on tutorial videos right here and it will show you all the tutorial videos that they have created they will show exactly how to use speechify here as you can see it will show you how to get speechify across all your devices 
You can also see some of their features by going back and click on latest features. And this will show you the latest features and the latest update, as you can see for this one right here. You can also change the app theme, the article theme, or the listening voice. You can share this application with your friends. You can also disable battery optimization, but this will make you jump into your settings of your phone. Now let's go back and click on for you again. You can also talk to the support itself by clicking on get support. So if you have any issue, you can contact them and they will solve your problem. You can also click on manage subscription if you want to unsubscribe at any time or if you want to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And I forgot to say that you can also click on any file that you have right here and give it a name. So you can simply click on these three horizontal dots and click on rename file, then rename the file as you can see, just in order to make it accessible when you search for it in the search library right here. And that's all for today. If you find this video helpful, please don't forget to support us with like, subscribe, comment, share, and see you in a new video.